Hi guys, so welcome back to our 365 days Canva design challenge and today is our day 18. So as you can see, um, I posted a poster the other day, like Saturday, I guess. Um, it's all about how to create your avatars using Bitmoji and how you can connect that to your Canva account. So um, today, I'm gonna teach you first how to create your personalized avatar closer to how you look or your personality um, via Bitmoji. And later on, I'm gonna teach you how to connect that to your Canva account for you to use that um, whenever you're creating a super cool post and you want it like an animated um, caricature or maybe like an animated version of you. So we're gonna use Bitmoji and Canva. So I believe Bitmoji is already connected with Canva. All you have to do is just hit that connect button and then it will auto-populate to your account. So right now, for the first step, we're gonna create a Bitmoji through my mobile phone. Start by Okay. You can see you can even create highlights to your hair and find the kind of face that looks like you. There you go. You have short hair with bangs. So there with super curly hair there. So I'm right now I'm just gonna choose the one closer to my hair length now. So there I think I've chosen the right hair length. So there. You can also choose your uh, eyes shape. There. And then you can go to the jawline. My face is kind of round, so. I'm just gonna look for a face um, shape that is round. Okay, there. So that it's super close to how I look like. There you go. You can also choose um, your glasses. Super cheek one, the genius type, colorful one, the cool ones. Um, yeah. If you're working with eyeglasses, you can just choose anything here. Usually when I work offline, I use eyeglasses. But when I'm recording, I'm not really um, wearing my eyeglasses. So, or you can just um, click nothing. So, and also you can go to headwear. Just click the hat button there and you can see you, we have a lot of options here like bonnet, um, like a cowgirl hat, beret hat, like that, a bucket hat. So there. It would really like add to your personality if you like um, headwears. Now we're going to outfits. I'm just not sure why. <laughs> Everything here is for men, but yeah, you can just scroll there until you find what's fitting. So we have formal, uh, formal wears there. Um, yeah, maybe because I choose um, the windbreaker, that's why I can see this one, the outfits. But you can also like go to dress or there. So you can just explore the Bitmoji fashion. So right now I'm currently choosing um, 
what I'm gonna wear. So there, uh, I think I found my color. As you can see, that's my branding color. So I really like this hoodie jacket. Usually when I work, I'm only wearing hoodie jacket or a windbreaker, just a t-shirt. So might as well reflect that. So maybe to make it more formal, I'm just gonna choose a pants there but uh, there's a lot of options here you have shorts you have leggings straight cuts and then you can also choose your footwear so I'm just gonna make it simple white there <laughs> slippers you know slippers at home and you can also have this cute rabbit right there <laughs> if you're just working at home Usually it looks like that. Right now I'm just gonna choose a white shoes. Okay. Now I'm just gonna put up some makeup. You know, whenever I'm working, sometimes I add lipstick just you know to add confidence maybe. Just to you know add a little vibe and mood to my work. Not just because you're working at home, you're gonna let yourself um just be plain and no makeup so maybe you can put some makeup sometimes right so but for this one I'm just gonna choose lipstick so there I choose the pink one <laughs> okay so you also have cheek lines if you have like thinner face or you have like um, if you want to add contour to your face you can just do that and you can also choose your eyebrows you know eyebrows is life so we might as well find something that is perfect for us so here this is the most um, <laughs> struggling I'm struggling with this part but right there I think that's the perfect eyebrow for me and then I'm gonna go to the eye shape so let's see okay so you can see a lot of different eye shapes here you just had to choose what looks like you there I find that eyes cute so next I'm just gonna explore my I think I'm all done. Mm -hmm. I found my right outfit. So I'm just gonna click save there. So you can see all of my Bitmoji have updated to the new look that I just chose. See, this Bitmoji goes along with your mood of the day. So you can actually choose this when you're creating a post. You can, uh, and the good thing about this is that you can add this to Canva. Bitmoji is directly connected to Canva, so it's easier to like edit. You see that? Drinking wine, saying please. So yeah, that's it. So okay, so right now we're going to my Canva, and I will teach you how you can connect your bitmoji to your canva so let's go right there so there you go uh, so i hope you enjoy creating your bitmoji um uh, because this is really fun like we're just playing the dress up uh game and we're just creating that avatar that, that looks like us or maybe the way we dress the way our eyes look the hair length I really find it fun to create that avatar so i hope you do too so right now in this point of this video i'm gonna um share with you how you can connect that uh your newly created bitmoji to your canva account so let me share my screen and let's do this so what you're gonna do first is go to the left side section and click more this three dots uh, at the bottom and then 
you're gonna find here you can look for the app called bitmoji okay you have to click that bitmoji and then you can see this connect section um connect button here so let's connect that to click connect okay Um, so what it would look like is that um, a Snapchat account would pop up to your uh, Google Chrome and then all you have to do is just click continue and then after that you will see here um, the Bitmoji is now available and your customized um, avatar is already here. So it, uh, right now it's connected with Canva so we can use some of this so let's say i'm gonna select this one the good thing is that they are in png um, format so you only you don't have to like click on the text and remove background because they're already um already set up uh like a sticker okay so here when you're like tired at work so your avatar really like have these different emotions to express um, you can uh, add this to your post uh, no matter how you uh, how you feel of, on that certain day of if you're happy if you're stressed if you're uh, wanted to ask questions so there so yes they're super cute when you're drinking your coffee and you're a coffee lover you can just choose that sticker there if you feel blessed there you go and yeah it's super cute and it's super like um attention grabbing when you're in on social media so some of your clients might be like um have to Hire someone to illustrate something for them just to like create an anime animated version of them maybe you can just create this uh, using bitmoji and just do it and add it to your canva account right super fun this one it's super cute okay and the good thing about this is that you have a lot of options here sometimes it seems like it doesn't end so I'm just gonna tour you how it looks like here. So if you have announcement like that, new splash, super cute, right? Go there. There you go. I'm gonna post this one on our page and you can comment your personalized Bitmoji. So that's it for today and I hope you learned something new and something fun um, through this tutorial. So I hope to see your Bitmoji is on the comment section and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. See you again on the next one.